Hey fellas, uh, this morning I was going to show you something about the intake gaskets because you know they do come in different thicknesses. You can get special ones that are thicker than standard if you need to. The reason being, if you build an engine and you deck the block, you put thin head gaskets, you mill the heads on a V engine, you're bringing the heads closer together. So the intake uh, needs to sit lower in order for the ports to line up still. So with that in mind, uh, these are Edelbrock gaskets a buddy of mine built a 347 and bought gaskets before he bought the heads he ended up getting a AFR 195s and these obviously I wouldn't work on it but they're 62 thousandths they do have the uh, deal in the center here where you can put a block off plate like like the uh, 1250s and these are the 1250 a standard 1250s got this insert here you can put in to block off the EGR and it's 60 thousandths. The S3 has the steel uh, insert, what do you call it, sandwich in the middle. So they're a little thicker, they're 71 thousandths. But like I said, you can block, you can, you'll have the block off there. These are standard Explorer Cobra uh, gasket Felpro style. They're 64 thousandths and don't have any kind of a block off for the EGR. The same with the uh, Federal. Felpro MS90116. They are for like a 6970 Mustang or Cougar pickup, whatever, with a 351. They're real close in size to the uh, Felpro 1262, but they don't have any kind of a block off. And then this is the 1262. I reuse the heck out of these things, as you can tell. You know, the ones with a steel shim, you can get away with reusing them. And they don't have the regular shim in the middle, like the. Uh, the standard 1250 this one when you torque it down it'll tend to mushroom out around here around the water port uh, as you can see I used the gray whenever I'm sealing water up I use the gray ultra gray on this and this is a 1262 race or R I got these from Ed Curtis they're a little thicker than uh, than standard they're 90 thousandths and that was because to get the ports to line up, I did deck the block and I, the heads weren't milled, but uh, the uh, ports, the intake had already been ported. So in order to get the ports to line up, I had to get a thicker intake gasket and I lifted the intake up a little bit so the ports lined up better. And one thing uh, of note, when you're using this gasket, see this little line around there? I don't know what that's supposed to be for, but uh, if you don't put in the Ultra like sealing RTV down in that port down at the bottom especially you'll see you'll get a little bit you'll get a little leak out of there and it's pretty disheartening to get it all together and have it dribble out so I always try to fill that channel up so we don't get anything coming out down here and uh with the intake gaskets if you like chip your upper get a crack in it or whatever it peels off you can buy just the upper it's called a plenum gasket you can get Get them for a truck or Explorer, Cobra, whatever. They're like, I think they're like four or five bucks on Rock Auto. I think they're under just under ten at a chain store. But anyway, that was about it. Just wanted to show you all that. All right, appreciate you later.